Guess what time is, folks? It's Cruise News time! Another cruise director has now been promoted to fleet director. And that is Erin Wigan. And she is now also the first female cruise director to get promoted to fleet director. But now, Kong's going to be looking for three new cruise directors. One with her getting a promotion, with the Flying Scotsman getting a promotion, and with Cookie Quinnen. So now there's three positions open, and you can only assume that one of the cruise directors who's a fill-in, more than likely, is probably going to get their own ship now. So if whoever gets it, congratulations. I hope that one of you guys get it because you guys have been with the company for a while. And I also want to congratulate Erin on her promotion. Just imagine, you have an inaugural cruise booked and it's getting ready set to sail in a few days. Just to find out that now it is canceled. And today is February 14th and it was canceled for the February 18th sailing. Do you know how pissed off I would be right now if that was me? Well, this happened to guests who were booked on the Sun Princess who was supposed to have her inaugural sailing on February 18th. And this isn't the first time it was canceled. It was already canceled because it was supposed to have the inaugural sermon on February 8th. And those passengers found out January 24th that it was canceled. And now it just got canceled again. My opinion is simple as this. Don't have any cruises until you fix the issue because they are saying it's because of technical problems. So guests also are now going to be compensated, which is a good thing. They are going to receive a full refund on the cruise and on anything that they have purchased. For example, like the drink package, excursion, all that. They are going to receive a full refund and they are also going to get a 50% future cruise credit of any sailing that has to be sailed by December 31st, 2025. But it has to be booked by November 30th of 2024. So this is a really, really good future cruise credit. But wait, there's more. Every passenger is going to get $200 per person cover charge to cover charge flights for passengers who have not taken their flights yet. But if you are already taking your flight, you will be reimbursed for your flights round trip. And if you're already in Europe, you'll get $481 per night for Sunday and Monday, along with $150 per person daily reimbursement to cover hotels, meals, and other expenses. So this is something that Princess is doing, which is really good, a really good reimbursement. I mean, it said that you miss your cruise four days prior because of some technical issues, but at least you're getting reimbursed. And you're also getting that 50% future cruise credit that you can use for next year. You don't even have to use it for this year. Maybe this was the only time you could get off and now you can't get off ever again for the rest of the year. At least you could use it for next year. I know it's gonna suck that you're gonna have to wait all this time for it, but if you do have time off this year, guess what? Why don't you just take another cruise this year? And you're gonna save money of whatever your 50% future cruise credit is. So if you don't know what that is, say you paid a thousand dollars, it's going to cost you 500 Don't include the taxes, right? So that's what it's going to be. If your cruise is $100 because you had a really good deal, <laughs> you're only getting $50 future cruise credit. So hopefully you pay, you actually had a suite or something so that you get a really good future cruise credit. If you don't, at least you have a future cruise credit for a future cruise. Well, thank you all for watching the show today. Until next time, everybody, safe travels.